Hello, my people in progress, as well as skaters in progress. Today, I actually wanted to talk about um, the importance of frame alignment with your skates. So this is the frame. And I'm, when I mean alignment, I mean like the direction that it is on the skate aligned with the boot. So let's get into it. Frame alignment is very important. I have firsthand experience. Um, some skates, like this one, which is my beginner skate that I got at a thrift store, um, doesn't have the ability to be able to move the frame. So this is a, like a junior skate that like can change sizes. So this is um, not the best skate if you're doing a lot of mileage and stuff because, um, well, I sprained my knees because of the alignment, partially because of overuse injury, but also because of the alignment of the frame was not great for my alignment of my body. I got a new pair of skates. I got these Flying Eagles, as you saw in a separate video, and they came um, right in the center. And so we're gonna go over how to like know where your frame should be so that it's the best optimal way for your legs. So to avoid injury, to avoid any kind of foot problems, ankle problems in the future when you skate a lot. The first thing that you should be doing is when you first get your skates, you wanna make sure that the bottom, so let me show you the bottom. These are my Sevatrix that I got. Um, you wanna make sure that the bottom has, there are three dots, there's one, two, three. You wanna make sure that they actually have these. So when you're buying a pair of skates, you wanna make sure that you'll be able to move this bolt around, meaning move the frame around, okay? I still have to get this off, I haven't aligned it yet, but I wanna show you these Flying Eagle ones that I have aligned to my feet. So the first thing you should do is you wanna try them on, you know, make sure they fit, you know, send them back if they don't fit and get the pair that you need. Then once you have the foot fit, you wanna actually skate around on them and you wanna be very aware and very conscious of what's going on on your feet. Whether you feel like your balance, your, your leg balance is more toward this side or more toward the inside um, because the whole idea is the frame alignment should be so your foot is very like just comfortable. You're like, yes, I'm right in the middle of the frame. I did that. I went skating with these and I just tried out some moves. I'm still getting used to them. I still trip over them, <laughs> but I wanted to show you, um, you know, you can see the alignment difference. Yeah, so there's different alignments, but for you as a feeling, you wear your boot and you figure out where you feel a little off balance, where you feel like the pressure is happening. And then you wanna move your frame, you know, take your wheels off, take the bolt out and move your frame slightly. So for me, my right leg, I could feel was pushing too far outward. So you wanna move your frame a little bit inward to adjust. So it's really all a trial and error. And I wanna show you these ones, which I already changed the alignment, but I wanted to show you, sorry, that was the lav mic. I wanted to show you how different the frame alignment is. So I got them and they were lined up straight, like right here. And I moved them so it adjusted to my legs. Right? Does that make sense? So, and also this is the front. I didn't move that one too much, but um, I will put links in the description of different, just like articles that you can be reading to study up on this. Cause it is, it's really, it is important to have good frame alignments. So hopefully that helped. I will send you links. And it really has, it really comes down to just like the biomechanics of the forces of, you know, when you step, the force of the ground shoots up your leg and you wanna make sure that the force shooting up isn't shooting up at an angle that is going to cause you pain in your foot, cause it in your knees, 
because of the the angle of the force so it's very important to have frame alignment of course if you have any other experience or anything you want to add this is a community kind of channel so feel free to add your comments to make this video a better video you know you can do more studies about reading up about moving things forward moving things backward in the frame i don't tend to do that i think if you move the toe you see how it's like over it's over the toe the wheel if you move it back it makes it um less stable <laughs> And so if you're just starting, like, you shouldn't move it back. But, if, of course, if you're taking lessons, definitely ask your um, coach. And this is going to take me forever to get off. But that's the thing. Sebatrix had such a hard time getting off the brake. I had to use a drill, FYI, for those that are thinking of getting this. But this one was actually really easy. The bottom was super easy to deal with. The tool that they came with, I was able to do it with just that. So, if you're thinking of these ones. <laughs> but hopefully that wasn't too long of a video. As always, guys, be kind, stay curious, and have fun. Our channel is growing rapidly, and I'm excited. Um, also, happy practicing. I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>